So we got Pac-Man Snake coming up here. I mean, probably. Who knows? Maybe. Um, maybe Kirby wants to spam the grenades too. No way. <laughs> yeah. Now Pac-Man, yeah. I feel like actually does really well against Snake from what I've seen. In okay. Yeah. I have not watched this matchup too much. Huh? I have not watched this matchup too much. I haven't too much, but I've seen. Um, I've seen both of them against Sinji and a couple others. Okay. Maybe. As far as I know, early meta Snake is known to have the advantage, but it seems now Pac-Man might. It's one of those that goes back and forth. Yeah, Pac-Man is a is a really crazy kooky character, so I'm not yeah. surprised it takes a while to learn the matchups. A character that a lot of people that are good with don't even know like what else is there. Like there's so much with Pac. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A character like I even have been intrigued by lately, and I hated him in the last yeah. year. Like I actually could not stand playing Pac-Man, so that's that's what's up. Pac-Man, the coolest combos, some of the lamest neutral. Lame, lame neutral only because the Hydra is from like the crappiest Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and from the worst Pac-Man stage as well. No, exactly. Yeah. That is a horrible that stage. That is an awful, that awful stage. That stage is so bad. Your friends, your friends click random when you're playing like casuals and you get oh. that stage and you just restart. Oh, even if you're getting free for all, you just quit out. Yeah, you just quit out. Yeah. No one wants to play I'll that stage. I'll have full <laughs> high items on playing with friends. Oh my popping god. Popping right on, using joy cons and everything and we get Pac-Man and we all just quit. Yeah, I'll just quit. <laughs> it's almost like a Mario Screw this, party. man. Yeah. When it really is. Steal your stars every single turn and then you want to cry. Oh! Oh! Hey, I really want that clip. I'm really upset. <laughs> You love to see it, and you hate to not. You love to see it, and you also hate to see it. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's perhaps more accurate. I'm just waiting for a bad game so I can say nice bear. Nice, nice bear. bear, yeah! I said that last match. I said nice bear, and I was like, oops. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, 30. Grenade, grenade breaks it, but grenade takes it. Kiwi's combos are so good with bag, man. Like, even you have a combo breaker, you're just not better. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. the fair and the fruits, they actually slice through. They go through the grenade, so the grenade hits Pac-Man, but the fruit seems to just not really care. I, I don't know how that works. Have over yeah, it, sure. I don't know how grenade doesn't deal with an apple effectively, but whatever. Oh, well, I mean, it depends. I mean, they might be cheaply made, you know, like, yeah. like, like, like nades or something. <laughs> oh, wow, that was beautiful. Wow, Kiwi I can't believe that killed right as well. You can tell Pelko is not ready for that. Kiwi, up two stocks in this game. Nice oh. bear. <laughs> nice bear. <laughs> It's not even something you expect to say versus Snake. No, I never say but like, it, but like, yeah. His, his back ears are actually clean. Like it's like, I do think that the Snake in this matchup, the reason why I think he theoretically would probably have a hard time against Pac-Man is because his ground speed is so trash. Like, yeah. He has the, yeah. again, as we see right there, the dash attack burst option is basically his best ground movement option. And yeah, and that is great. But like once you do the same thing over and over again, come on. Yeah. Like that's just not Especially against a player of Kiwi's caliber, she's gonna kill it out. And yeah, if you're throwing out the grenades as well, Kiwi has a lot of time to either take out those fruits or hit you with the hydrant as we saw there. So Yeah. And they can both cut each other's projectile roots yeah. off really well, but like Kiwi has more options to cut off Pelka's roots this is true. due to the speed. Like you can jump only so much with Snake. Like right there, he was there for so long just hovering. Yeah. <laughs> And like you can't. Pac-Man's there instantly, you know. Ooh, what are we? Oh, that's a rough setup to be in. Smart dash attack to get out of there. Yeah, oh, and the grab it. almost takes it, but 175 still living. Kiwi almost did get the DI mix up, but that Hydra's just gonna kill him. Wow! <laughs> I didn't even notice. Yeah. I was like, I just thought he was in the corner. That wow! Was like smash four. That was like that's... a smash four uh, acceleration. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Kiwi going up one game. Let's go. And hopefully we don't see another 3 0. But I, I mean, I a know. reverse 3 0. We saw Don 3 0, and now we might see Kiwi. Be interesting. But I would like to see a game five personally between these two. It's really to see a success. Game five. And this is a match that you think would be pretty handy, but it's not. It's not. No, like these these characters both have to have to pick their spots. Yeah. If you cannot pick your spot, if you're not on the platform setting up C4s, if you're not sending the hydrogen ground, you're probably going to lose neutral. Like, exactly. That is something you really need to pull off early on, or at least when you have it in hand. And we're going to see Kiwi go for uh, just these standard setups, but really, they're just waiting to get in on each other. Oh, Kiwi just likes to hit people. I don't think Kiwi likes to use the fruit. No. Kiwi just wants to hit people no, with forward air. mad respect, because Kiwi, yeah, she'll camp when she has to, Yeah. right? But like, when she does not feel forced to camp, she just she goes off. Go so she goes far. so off. Yeah. And same with same with Pelka. Like like we saw him against Don going for road forward airs. Going yeah, for red to forward airs. Like back airs. Grenade drift back into up tilt. Like 
Neither of these players want to camp, but no. this is how the matchup has to go. However, Kiwi kind of avoiding it. Gonna, yeah, she's, she's, she's had that bell for a minute. She's really trying to try to get this bell with next. Um, the apple's gonna come in clutch here. Maybe one problem. of those crazy uh, fire hydrant setups with the bell. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, right. I'm gonna take it. Oh, going for the key this time. Key and, key and hydrant launch covering almost every option. Right? That's crazy. That's the scary part. Like the snake can't just can't, can't just jump, right? No, like, that, as you see, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. He can't just jump. He's gonna get clipped. And I, I know Pelka does have, he does have counter moves. Like he has a Mario. Yeah. But I don't think Mario does better than. Snake I don't either. Actually. Like, yeah. honestly, I think. It might be harder. <laughs> It, it yeah. might be, frankly. Yeah. I think that uh, the cape will help, but I think Snake can do that just fine. Yeah, Snake can deal with this. I'm just saying that the speed is a big deal. Like, we're seeing you come into play here. Pelka really has to, like, he has to take his time a lot more than KB does. Even when he's winning, like, he doesn't even, he's not even able to push his heart. So, oh, wow. That's and great. Kiwi, I think that was supposed to be either a turnaround grab or a roll or something. Yeah, something. Definitely not what ended up happening there. But yeah, you're right. Like, Watching Snake do his typical setups and, and Kiwi's unfazed by it like Mario no, it was. It doesn't really work. It doesn't. No. It Kiwi doesn't. can stand there, get it's a like fruit. A yeah. Oh, that was, oh, that was nice. Oh I don't know if that was intended, but that was a lot of damage. I mean, listen, we'll take those. <laughs> well, it's just I've never seen that angle up Yeah, there. me neither. Yeah. Bear Hydrant into, what was that, up there or something? Yeah. Oh, nice. Focus trying to. Nice, okay. He said no more of that. Uh, that's exactly what you mean. Like, yeah. he's he's getting sick of it. He's, he's definitely tired of it. I think that I, I think that Pelka really started to figure this out. Uh, yeah, slowly. Kiwi's committing a bit too hard though. Like she's committing way more than she was, and I don't know if it's because she's down a percent, but she's still looking okay. Like she just has to close out the stock with either a bell, keys, something to set up front of the projectiles. We're just trapped into the corner. Oh, oh. Almost gets hit. I don't know if that air dodge is necessary though. Kind of set her back a bit. Yeah, I think she was just afraid. But yeah. She might have not have been looking. She doesn't want to take damage right now. She might have been looking at Snake too, like, because yeah, because he was setting up really three damage. Oh, and the key gonna take it randomly. That's the thing. The key is so fast that if you're a high percent with Snake, pulling grenades is a really scary thing to do. If you don't have a shield, you're essentially gonna die. Like, if they call you out. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened there. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, that no. hasn't worked for Kiwi once this set. It's just too slow and start. Like, you have it's, to wait for Pelka to throw. Yeah, and it's threatening, but not at 9%. Maybe she didn't know this. Oh, but 23 damage to the trick itself. I feel like this ratio of trades is actually favoring Kiwi. <laughs> Kiwi. I said Kiwi. No. <laughs> oh, Ooh, good tag. Good tag man. Oh, almost gets That's the That's a weird tilt. tech to hit as well. Ooh, not gonna get the check too. Ooh! Three up tilts. Yeah. Three up tilts. I, if I you're not tight, you're gonna get up tilted. I feel like, <laughs> as funny as it is, I feel like going to a smaller state might actually benefit Kiwi. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Because the pressure we're seeing with the normals is actually much better than what Hub is able to put out with Yeah, exactly. The forward air yeah. into the landing there. It's just shield pressure that Snake literally can't do anything yeah, about. Can't. Mario? Sure. Snake? No, not which is, happen. I think, one of Hub's best backups. Mario, Fox, I know he plays a bit. So, like, he has other characters he can't use, so he feels uncomfortable, but when that game was huge for him, yeah. the game is in her head with three up tilts. Like, that was something. That was absolutely, yeah. like, and that's Snake's best kill option, and you're just out here doing it three stocks in a row. I don't know. Something's up. Yeah. Double up air. That up air is really nice to catch Snake with because he doesn't have a quick enough falling aerial to really get out of those chains. So. Yeah, and it lingers too. So, so far, Kiwi up in percent. Oh, I like that jab. <laughs> Went for something fancy there. Yeah, I think she was looking for a two frame. Unfortunately, it didn't come through. That would have been a clip. I think that, uh, personally, I really like the idea of running to ledge and just jabbing your opponent. I mean, if you're not ready, it'll just make you SD. Uh, if, but it's really nice to be able to just set them back a little bit without going for a super hard two-frame option. Oh, wow. Great dash tag to get through the zone there. Oh, oh, wow. She oh, wins. You can't linger too long. Yeah, at higher percents, you don't have that legend vulnerability you do at lowest, so. Maybe underestimating how much time she had left. 
Oh, oh that, that back air went a little. He was a little slow to react to that back air out of. Oh, <laughs> he pulled the grenade at the wrong time. <laughs> Oof. He's gonna take an apple for that. All oh, the damage though. Oh my goodness. Fifty-three percent. Oh, seventy-five already. That's crazy. Pac-Man, not the latest character, so it's not hopefully no. going to phase Kiwi if it's too close. He's chunky, dude. He's big. He's yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to get that forward air. Oh, that was wacky. The stage spike barely doing anything, right? Kiwi's looking a little bit nice, without being honest here. That's what it looks like, but she's still doing fine. Like, 79 to 103 is nothing. She's got probably a lot of experience in this matchup. I yeah, know they play pretty often, but yeah, you're right. She does look almost a little. She's being a bit hasty, like more so than before, anyway. Um, if she can kind of get back in her zone and get her pace going, get some combos, maybe maybe start hitting more fruits, she can be fine. But it seems like she's just getting called out a lot. Or so, yeah. So. She's also she's playing a lot a, a lot faster with her shield than she was. Or she she uh, she was playing a lot faster with the shield, I should say, game one. Uh, so where she was getting hit by the nades, but not by the explosion. No, yeah, and she, her time was right. Yeah, and I think it's kind of slipping here. Oh, the grenade rain. I think it's I think it's the pace. Like Elka's really changed up the pace. Oh, but he's oh, he's gonna die right the left. That's crazy. <laughs> what was that? What? Oh my god. That was actually really interesting because it worked. Like, yeah, like Kiwi is not prepared for that option. Yeah, air dodge forward is so smart off that. Oh, oh, oh my wow. god! I didn't realize it was there. I, no <laughs> one did, clearly. I totally forgot about it. FD a really weird states to just look at. It's super dark. Elka going to go up 2 1 right now. And Kiwi's looking pretty shook. She's I looking think. shook, but you know, I, I think towards the end of the game, she started to. To shake She's off something yeah. in her head. She's I think we, I think we can see a game five here, folks. Yeah, I personally feel like it will be, but we're gonna have to see. Like we saw the adaptation on Belka's part to change the pace up a lot. Absolutely. And that got in two games. Like these past two games have been entirely different than game one. The, the ball pace. has been firmly in his court. Yeah. Since the get go of jump of game two. So clearly, in between, he said, "All right, I know what to do." <laughs> and now it's Kiwi's turn to adjust. Yeah. He, from the start of the game. He was playing a little bit, a little bit slower, yeah. I feel. So he was just like kind of waiting for Kiwi to start setting up her wall and then breaking. It. Yeah. He just kept breaking and breaking. Instead it. of setting up his own wall and, and having that get broken by forward airs yeah. and neutral airs, so yeah, absolutely. Yeah, knowing that her buttons are quicker, so that was definitely an advantage. And I think this is taking Kiwi off guard, but you know, I think she can definitely play against it. Oh, oh, let's go. Ooh, that might be a stock. Oh, oh gets the wrong hitbox of that. Fire hydrant. I thought another backer was coming, but not confident in the option. Oh my god, that was close. Whew. He's gone for the forward smash a couple times, but Kiwi's just about landing it while he's trying to get an early stock because that move is insanely strong. <laughs> it does two frame too, so you really want to catch somebody. I mean, yeah. Over. The risk is great, but we've seen Pelka, he's not afraid to go for a, a janky option if he has to. Especially if he knows that it's worth the mental damage. Like, that is, that is serious mental damage. Yeah, like, you feel kind of insulted if someone goes for a forward <laughs> smash versus you're like, yeah. really? Come on. Yeah, it's like, wow, you really expect me to, oh. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> well, I think it is. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, wow, the hydrogen didn't actually get launched by the jab. I'm surprised. I'm pretty sure it's up to 15% threshold in this game. I mean, yeah, I know. think it's 15 or 18. I don't remember yeah. exactly. It's more than it was before. Ooh, oh, oh let's there. go. Wow. She covered the dash aim. She covered the standing option, everything besides like walk forward. Yeah, or yeah. just like run off stage. Yeah. Run away option, always a solid one. I wish I knew why Batman had such terrible alts. Terrible alts? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're all kind of the same, and then he's yeah, got oven this What happened? I want to see a, a different they, color Pac-Man or something. I don't yeah, know. Mix like, it up. I even like the uh, the neon ones from the Pac-Man Championship games. Yeah, come on. Be a little more creative here. I know he's like just a big yellow ball, but, yeah, but he's, he's he not can do something with it. Like he's not. Yeah, like he's not always this. Yeah. And this Pac-Man is obviously better. So. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> matter of fact, just put her in the game. I'll take her as a deal to slot. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I like her better. The ball makes it better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Apple. Apple out. 
We've seen Pelka die a couple times to the apple, surprisingly. Yeah, something we haven't seen really since game one, too, or game two, I should say. Yeah, where it just bounces on the floor and catches you. Yeah, because she was getting a lot of setup, though, with her 80 kills. Oh, the key's out. Yeah, I think he was really just like, yeah, get this hydrant out of here, because it launched all the way to the left glass. So. Oh my god, that scared That me. was really frightening. That was risky. Puffin needed to set up that C4, and he didn't care what happened. That's oh, it. there it is. Walking just straight in the up. face, yeah. Something Pelka definitely does not want to lose to, like, <laughs> just getting yeah, so smacked. Right Frankly, she probably could have just forward smashed him there. The bell's just, oh wow. Oh my god, that hit from his butt cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> the grenade popped her up just enough into Oh, it. that was so nasty. That, that hit straight from his butt cheeks. They are strong. Yeah, well, I mean, this is what he's known for. Nerfed, but you know. Yeah, when you skip, when you skip leg day, that's what happens. Yeah. Putting on another little extra. <laughs> Hey, putting on a little extra rate is a good idea in this game. <laughs> Specifically versus that hydrant, man. Oh, throwing right at the last second, the team's gonna run out. That's something people don't even realize against Snake. Specifically, people who never played like PM or Brawl, like the grenade fuse is everything. Like, yeah. if you watch the pattern of when they cook the grenade and see if they have like a repeat setup with the fuse timer. You need to just abuse that, like every other need, sometimes snakes will like hold or vice versa, you mm -hmm. know? So watching for that is going to mean you get a lot of extra damage or shield pressure. It's easy, just yeah. it's easy to look at the character and just, all right, I'll let you do your thing. I'll wait until you're done. But if you really pay attention to a snake player's patterns, it's not impossible to weave in and out of those grenades. No. Kiwi was definitely doing it game one. Yeah, she was able to do that. She's one of the few, especially in Connecticut, that's very yeah. comfortable with that. Although Pelka is Massachusetts, he's definitely He's like, definitely Yeah, he's definitely more Connecticut. I remember like, they were saying, let's do a Massachusetts versus CTP uh, PR battle, but we'll give them Pelka. And like, I mean, that's kind of unfair because we're already that, better. So. Yeah, facts. <laughs> not a necessary handicap. Well, but. actually, maybe not because Raffi, Raffi's been level enough. So. Raffi's been crazy, yeah. but. Oh, yeah. Um, maybe we just take Pelka out. It, it's, it's too divisive. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> I can't imagine both players are sweating, especially Kiwi, you know. But also, he has the game five to rely on here. Kiwi, not so much. She, she oh. This right now. Oh, oh, my goodness. God, That's actually tragic. I'm going to win off of up tilt. You don't even see him win super often normally with up tilt. No, but he's been these last two sets, throwing it out.